Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 6, I mean 10.6 from Sadikubo. And the question is to find V0. V0 is here by using superposition technique. Okay, as we know from the previous chapters, if we use superposition, we turn off each of the sources. So this one, I turn off this voltage source, replacing it with short circuit. And in this circuit, we turn off the current source by replacing it with open circuit. And we analyze this circuit separately. Okay. So now I will analyze this first. And this is our V0. Let's put this as our ground. So we will have not V0 here, right? Because all of the components are parallel. We can use this one. And now... Because this is an AC circuit, we need to use FASOR. So here we will have our omega will be 10. And for our capacitor, so our capacitor is 0 0.2 farad. We convert it into FASOR by using the formula 1 over J omega C. Our omega will be 10 and now we will have 1 over j, 10 multiplied by 0 0.2 is just 2, right? Or we can multiply it by j over j, but j multiplied by j is minus 1, so we can rewrite this as minus j over 2, okay? So far so good, and now for the inductor, I will have the 1 Henry there. And we can replace it with J omega L. And our omega is 10. So J multiplied by 10. Then multiplied by 1. So I will have 10 J. Okay. And let's write that in orange here. So we will have minus J over 2. And we will have 10 J here. Now maybe let's make it different from this one. So I will assume this is V0 prime. And let's assume the direction of the current. I think I will assume the current will go all to the ground, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do KCL at V0. KCL at V0 prime. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Remember that we have 6 cos 10t or 6 and the angle will be 0 degrees. So this is the only current that goes in here. So I will have 6 the angle of 0 degrees and then all the other currents is going out. So that will equal to V0 prime over this one which is 10j and then this one here plus v0 prime divided by minus j over 2 and then this one is v0 prime divided by 8 Okay, now we can factor out the V0. So we have 6, the angle of 0 degrees is equal to V0. I think I will write it here, V0. And we can factor out that. 1 over 10J minus J over 2 or 2 over J. Yeah, that's the same one. And then plus 1 over 8. Now from here we can calculate the V0 prime, right? By using calculator. Okay, now let's do complex number. Set up complex number and then for the numerator I will have 6 and the angle will be 0. And then for the denominator I will have 1 over 10i minus 2 over i and then plus 1 over 8 or 
or we can change this into pasor and i will have 3.15 okay 3.15 and the angle will equal to where's my calculator minus 86.24 okay minus 86.24 Okay, and then for this one. Okay, now let's move on. Let's save this maybe. Let's save this here. Okay, but remember here we have different uh, angular acceleration, angular, I mean, what is it? angular frequency. Yeah, this is five and this is 10. So we need to convert this into time domain first. So I will have V zero T. Okay, let's do V zero prime of T. That will be three point fifteen, and the function here will be cosine of ten T, right? Cosine of ten T, and then the phase will be minus eighty six point twenty four. Here the unit is degrees. Here also degrees. So this is four. Okay, now let's move on to this one and similarly i also will use kcl at v0 but here i will have v0 double prime and this is our ground and assuming the direction of the current is like this let's do kcl at v0 double prime but first let's analyze the circuit first we will have our omega is 5 radian per second. And for the capacitor here, I will have 1 over j omega. Our omega is 5. But then the capacitance will be 0 0.2. That will equal to 1, right? So I will have 1 over j or just minus j okay and then for the inductor i will have j omega l or omega is 5 so i will have j multiplied by 5 and multiplied by 1 so i will have 5 j and the unit here will be ohm so i will have this capacitor becomes minus j and this inductor becomes 5j. Let's do KCL at V0 double prime. KCL at V0 double prime. And here we have, this should be 75 angle 0 degrees. This also be 75 angle 0 degrees because it's from the ground. So I will have the current that goes in is only this one. So I will have 75 angle 0 degrees minus V0 double prime divided by 8. And then plus, oh no, plus is equal because there is no other current that goes in. This one here, that should be V0 double prime divided by minus J. And then here I will have plus v0 double prime divided by 5j okay now let's move this minus v0 double prime over 8 to the right hand side so i will have 75 angle 0 degrees divided by 8 is equal to v0 double prime over 8 from the left hand side moving to the right hand side and then this one v0 double prime over j and then plus v0 double prime over 5j okay now we can take out the v0 double prime we can factor out v0 double prime so i have 75 angle 0 degrees over 8 is equal to v0 double prime divided by 1 over 8 minus 1 over j plus 1 over 5j okay we can calculate v0 double prime 
by using calculator. Okay, now let's do the numerator first. I will have 75. The angle will be 0 and divided by 8, right? And then for the denominator, denominator, I will have 1 over 8. And then minus 1 over i. And then plus 1 over 5i. Or we need to change this into password. That will be 11.58. Okay, 11.58. And then the angle. What is the angle? The angle will be minus 81. Okay, minus 81.12 degrees. Is it correct? Yeah. Or we can convert it into time domain. V double prime of T is equal to 11.58 is the amplitude and the function here will be sine so i will have sine and then 5t and then the phase will be minus 81.12 degrees okay so we'll have v0 prime and v0 double prime t we are asked about v0 so v0 of time will equal to v0 prime of t plus v0 double prime of t so we can just copy paste the function here v0 prime is just 3.15 cosine of 10 t minus 86.24 degrees and then plus 11.58 sine 5t minus 81.12 degrees and the unit here will be volt so i will have v0 of time this is the answer of the question that are given is it correct let's see the answer key yeah i think this is the v0 double prime right this is the V0 double prime and this is the V0 prime. Yeah, I did not make any mistake. So this is the correct answer. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.